Hello, hello, friends. Just getting set up here. Let me get to my main page. Here I am. Okay, cool. Let me tag everybody because it's been a minute since I've done a, done a live and I did not do a post. Okay, sorry, I was just getting a call and I had my phone on do not disturb. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Okay, so what we are gonna do today, hold on, I have to text my sister to stop calling me. Hold on. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. I just texted her. All right. So we are going to do a technique today called Retiform. This is really fun. It's playing with inks. Um, I am going to show you, I played with this last weekend. So let me show you the card. So I learned this technique and this is that new fun car, uh, new stamp and thin cut. So I played with Anne Marie's actually, because I have not gotten mine yet. I'm still waiting for close to my heart to send me, um, this stamp set. So I think this came out adorable, but this is what we're going to recreate today. It's called Retiform. So it's a fun technique. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And I'm actually going to play with a Stampin' Up uh, stamp set for the first time. So this is the stamp set I'm going to use, Seaside Wishes. But before I jump in to today's video, I just wanted to bring everybody, I'm going to bring my iPad in real quick because I want to show you an easy way to shop Stampin' Up, okay? So here I, this is when you go to stacymiano.stampinup.net. So this is what you should be looking at. This is called my website. And um, I do have a host code. So when you're shopping for May, you're, you could use the host code. What the host code does is it helps me group all of my orders together. And if they reach a certain amount at the end of the month, I will earn half price items. It takes a lot to earn a half price item, but that way I might be able to turn around and give that back or do a special promotion. So if you don't use the host code, that's fine. As long as you're shopping with me, you're my customer and you're shopping under me, but I can get an extra benefit if you use a host code. So every month I'm going to give you a host code. So as you place your order, you can do that. I can't get to that screen here because that's on the customer screen, but it's when you check out, there's going to be a box when you get into your cart and it says host code. You got to just put this weird number. So for May, it's XD7EQK2G. I can generate one a month and that's what that is for. And if you already placed an order and you didn't use a host code, no worries. But just know I will always have a host code pinned in the group for that specific month, right? We're all trying to learn this. You know, I'm not no big demonstrator, so I'm not going to get any benefits right from the get-go. I know there's lots of ladies out there that give all sorts of things away, but they're in a different place than me. Um, so, all right. Hey, mama. Okay. So when I just, again, I just want to show you how to get here. So it's stacymiano.stampinup.net. When you get here, just simply click shop now, right? I'm going to show you the easiest way to shop on this website. So you're going to click shop now and it's going to bring you to this page. As long as you see my face, it says you're shopping with Stacy Mayeno. Okay. You are at the right place. Now, the best thing to do, click menu. See this little arrow right here that says view all. Let me bring my iPad up. Just click view all. And then when the page loads it's it gives you the sidebar of the contents so you can shop easier 
right? Um, if you have a catalog and you know certain names of products, just use the search. Like if I wanted to search paper pumpkin because I couldn't find it, I would just put paper pumpkin here and it would bring me to the paper pumpkin um, items. So with paper pumpkin, I am forming a paper pumpkin group. You probably all are, have seen my posts already. So I um, invite you. My my group is jo is forming now. Um, as it grows, we'll play games. But you are going to get some um, happy mail from me for joining in the beginning. Um, I'm forming it now. It's you know. Uh, everything's gonna be super fun once a month we're gonna do a gathering if you want to join and post pictures it's totally a different group but anyway you have to be a paper pumpkin month by month subscriber or subscription subscriber so how that works is when you order paper pumpkin on stampin up site it's going to give you a code in pretty much immediately in your inbox when you get that code all the directions are there but it's going to direct you to the paperpumpkin.com website where you're going to create your user um uh here look ladies here's those uh shop now this is for the uh additional dies but you're going to create an account and this is where you manage your paper pumpkin subscription if you want to order additional ones pass kits because only as a paper pumpkin subscriber you can get pass kits um, if you want to see what's coming due coming up that next month so this is your paper pumpkin website so i just wanted to share that because i know some were uh, sending me some questions they didn't quite understand paper pumpkin so you join on the you join and pay for it in advance on the Stampin' Up! website, then they direct you to, it's Stampin' Up!, but they have their own Paper Pumpkin website. At one point, a uh, Paper Pumpkin website is going to merge into the Stampin' Up! website, so you can do everything on there, but that's going to come up, um, and that uh, hasn't happened yet, but they said that's going to be happening. So I just wanted to go over that real quick with everybody, and now let's get to the card. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm just using a piece of scrap because I already have a little bit prepped for you, but at least to show you the technique, um, I just have a piece of my white cardstock here. Like I said, I'm going to use the Seaside Wishes. I already have uh, what I'm going to use on my mounts. I'm actually not going to use that. I'm just going to use three. I'm going to use this smaller sand dollar, the smaller starfish, and then the sand little... Um, uh, splots. That's what I'm going to be using. Okay. And I'm going to be using ink. So I have my blending brush and I have almond, melon, and toffee ink. I have some, uh, just some sequins that I'm going to use. And I'm also using masking tape. Okay. This is the close to my heart masking tape that some of you may have. I never promoted this because I was not a fan of it. Mine always ripped. Sometimes it was good. Sometimes it's not. Um, some people have luck with this. Some don't, right? Like, I don't know. I never had luck with close to my heart masking tape. So I just have the regular Scotch 3M masking tape that I just keep in this thingy here. Okay, so what we want to do is to start we first want to get two pieces you want your pieces of tape longer than your card and you're gonna make um remember like that greater than and less than sign you're gonna do that that's kind of what you're gonna do so you're gonna put one of your tapes here and again they have to be longer and another one and they they can eat they don't have to meet perfectly you can leave a gap there but you want another one going this way Right, so that is how you want to start um, creating your uh, segments. We're gonna make segments on this card because let me bring this back in. You see how they're segments and they're stamped differently, okay? And it looks like the stamp is under each segment. So that's what we're kind of we're gonna kind of do. But to get this started, you always have to start here. So if you're doing a card make this your card base. If you wanna put this on a scrapbook page, you can make this as big as you want. Just remember when you start, you have to start like this. Or if you wanna make this piece 12 inches long, 
and this could be added to a scrapbook page, you can certainly do that. So that's how you can incorporate scrapbooking. So you start here. I'm going to start with a dark ink. So I'm using toffee and I have my blending brush. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this up. Oh, you know, I wanted to go on. Hold on. I wanted to bring in this just to protect my surface. Okay. So you're going to... Uh, blend and make a line here and here on the inside of the card base. So I'll show you that. Okay, just can keep going. Don't need it super, super dark, but you want to stay close to the line. I'll bring this up when I'm done because once you just do it and move it around the card a few times, you're going to understand what we're doing here. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do the top here. And you want to leave the inside. You don't want to get lots of ink there because you're going to put stamped images here. Okay, so that looks good. Let me bring it up so I could show you closer. Okay. So you see what I did? We just inked right there. Now, I'm going to remove my tape. Ah, how cool does that look, right? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to make another section. So maybe we wanna do right here, okay? So I'm gonna put my tape right here. Okay, now, we already have a line here so we don't, we need to just cover that up and all we're going to ink now is right here where we don't have a line, okay? So I'm gonna cover that perfectly right up to it. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so I covered this part that had a line. This is gonna be the part right here that we're gonna ink. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about doing the paper pumpkin group. Um, things you can expect from now, like I said, we're going to do a monthly meetup. I'm going to do a Zoom link, and if you want to join and come craft monthly, you can. Um, and I'm going to create uh drop videos doing some old alternates and some fun stuff all right so we're going to pull this off now so now do you see we have a quadrant here and a quadrant here so you just keep building on that right but first i also want you to think of the stamp set you're going to use because if you're going to use bigger stamps you might want to make bigger sections and you control how big the section is based on where you put your stickers. So if I wanted to leave that whole section open right now, I could, but it just doesn't have a blendy line coming in. So what I would do if I wanted to leave that is I would just blend in the side there, just like that, just to kind of finish it off. But let's, mm, should I add another one? Um, let's leave that. All right, because this is just for, I'm going to pull my example in. Let's just make one more just to show you. So we're going to put one here. We need to cover that line. Here's where we want to build our line. So we're going to cover this one perfectly. Ink this up. Only ink where we want the one line. So you think you're good and it's enough color and then pull them off. Okay, so you want to keep doing that along your whole card until it's full. Now, let me just get a paper towel so I can clean my surface. And I already have one fully done so I don't continue to waste time doing this because it does take a little time. Excuse me. Okay. So now, after you have all your quadrants done, 
you are going to end up with a piece of paper that's looking like this. Okay, so all I did was that's how I started and I just kept building. So remember when I said, oh, let me show you this, if you wanted to just leave that big section, but it's not blended in, that's totally okay. Just take your ink and come in from the sides right here. And that will give the appearance as if you had a line there. Same for here, okay? So you didn't have to use your masking tape right there, but you finished off that segment because each segment, now we're gonna go back and cover up the lines and we're gonna stamp, okay? So this is a masking technique. All right, so let me, I'm just gonna change out my tapes because I don't wanna get any cross-contamination, even though it's the same color. I'm gonna bring in my completed piece here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to start inking, uh, start stamping. Like I said, I have my stamps, let me bring them in. I'm using Almond for the sand. I'm using Melon for the little starfish and I'm using toffee again for the sand dollar, okay? So, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take my tape and I'm gonna start at the bottom here. So, I'm going to cover, I wanna stamp in here. So, I wanna perfectly cover on the line right here, okay? And I wanna cover that line perfectly. And I cover and I line up with that line perfectly. Okay, so see, let me show you. So now I covered my lines and I'm going to now put some stamps in there, okay? And then we're just gonna keep repeating that. So I have another little sample just to show you, but we're gonna fully complete this, all right? So you're gonna stick with me. Maybe you're crafting with me. If you're gonna catch the replay, let me know. Okay, so I'm inking my stamps up. Now this stamp is not going to be a full impression. If you see the stamp, see it doesn't have, um, everything is fully, uh, has that full impression. And you know, I'm so used to stamping on my, let me get, a little close to my heart pad out because I feel like that might even be a good thing with stamping up stamps. All right, a little carrier sheet. I'm just going to throw that on the bottom there. Okay, so I inked up and now just stamp. Okay, just don't go past your stickers here. Um, let's do another. Maybe we'll stamp off the page right here, okay. Let's bring in a sand dollar. Actually, let me do some sand. Because I could stamp over the little sand pieces with the little starfish. Now, this is where the magic happens. Ready? We're gonna pull these stickers off. How cool is that? So it looks like all your stamped images are peeking out under each segment, right? 
So we're going to keep, this is just me when I was practicing before, right? So just to give you another visual, this is what we're doing. So now we have that beautiful stamped image right there. We are going to, let's stamp in here. So we want to cover this line, right? We want to cover this line. So now here is our quadrant for stamping. So let's start over. Where's my, uh, right in front of my face. Let's get a whole sand dollar as much as we can here. Okay. Some starfish. Get a hole on this time. Sorry, I think my head just went in the camera. I have a new stand um, and I can't zoom down anymore, so I have to find a different stand. But um, I like this stand, <clears throat> but I got to get my old one back that I can zoom and lower just a little more. Okay, we're gonna remove. How cool is that, right? All right, let's stamp this little section right here. So we need to cover this line. And I'll just bring in a post-it for right here. So again, if you don't have a masking tape, just use post-its. We're gonna use a little So I hope you give this a try. Please post in the comments. Maybe I'll do a happy mail spin. Okay, we'll take this off. Just keep building. So we're going to do this one. Cover all your lines. All right. Super cool, right? Okay. Just as it blends together, it just kind of, you know, even if you see little things like, yeah, I messed up a little, we're going to come, when we're totally done, stick with me. I'll show you how to like fill in um, with some blending. So now we're back to that first piece that we made. Okay. Again, let me just leave this right here so you can kind of see what we're doing because I know I have lots of ink around now so it's hard to follow. Maybe I'll switch out my tape so you can see better.
fish. All right, I'm gonna use new tape so you can see better. It's coming out really cool. Let me bring it up. Okay, so we have four more quadrants to do. We're going to cover right here. And right here. Wow, that one didn't even... Let's fill that in with some sand. I did have these little rocks. I was going to use those, but I'll show you how they stamp. I mean, that would be, if I put that, let's see, in the dark. Like, if I put it, now yeah, that looks weird. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do right there. Cover that line. Cover this line. Almost getting there. Oh, stamping off my thingy. That was the problem. I'm <laughs> moving everything. Okay, take this off. Take this off. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we're going to hide this line. Two more. Okay. We're going to hide three lines. This one. In this one. Okay. Let's put some sand down first all around. Like layer the stamping. nice big flower stamp would be pretty with this. Hmm. I think that's it. Don't want to overdo it. One more. Okay. <clears throat> All right, last section. So we're going to cover here and that little piece right here. Now, starfish. A little bit here. Okay. So now that, let me just clean up. Split seconds. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay. Now, um, my mom actually posted, which was pretty funny, the Stampin' Scrub. I didn't even know they still sold this, but I still have mine too. And what's cool about these things is there's the wet side. It shows little raindrops and it shows a little sun. That's the dry side. So many of you may have this. I actually have Stampin' Up. Uh, I mean, uh, close to my heart, had an acrylic spray. Stampin' Up used to have one too. Ranger has one. All you do is spray um, the wet side. You take your stamps, wet, dry, clean. Wet, dry, clean. Wet, dry, clean. I mean, ladies, I, I love my chamois, but just another solution. So all my stamps are clean. And that's it. Now I will put them away. And I also did, remember I told everybody um, with the photopolymer stamps, I took them all off the carrier sheet. I stuck all my stamps there. The carrier sheet I laid back on top. And then I'm going to, I just haven't done it yet. I'm going to put my thin cuts in there. All right. So now I just want to show you last uh, thing with ink. So maybe take, maybe take the almond, like a, just a little, well, yeah let's just do the almond first just a little bit of a lighter shade and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just want to make sure there's another one kind of just like where see how it's super light maybe just put a tiny little bit of shading not too much because i don't want to take away from the lines but i might just want to kind of go over give it a little bit of blending because like see how it was that mist part, it's mist right there. So if I kind of come in with a little blending, just lightly, see how it's giving a little shading? Just kind of. You know, finishes it off, so to speak. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back with the toffee. And we're going to ink around the edges. So come back in with your toffee and then just, um, you know, you can use a piece of paper if you want, just so your hands don't get inky. Kind of just come all the way around, ink all the way around. Don't be stingy. You want it a little darker. I do this with a little more pressure. Okay, and it just kind of finished it off. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I have a piece of toffee, just an eighth of an inch bigger. I'm going to adhere that together. That looks great. Let's do a close up. All right, now I have my card base. Put here that down. Now, I made um, a little um, sentiment here. That's a stamp from the Seaside Wishes. You absolutely made my day. I add a little trim of melon um, glitter paper. These are those little seashells that we had from Close to My Heart, and I added two little glimmers. So I just want to figure out where I want to put this. See if there's something I want to cover up. But no, I'm kind of like liking how everything looks. I think I just want to pop that. Hmm. How do I want to do it? Maybe I just want to go like a little like that. Just kind of put it in the middle, but pop it up. 
And then we're going to add some gems around. Look at that. I love when I cut a piece of foam and it's like the perfect length and I don't have any waste and I just eyeballed it. <laughs> All right, let's just put this like right there. How about that? How about that? All right, these were those little seashell sequins that I know all you have. So I think they pair well with the Seaside Wishes. So I'm going to add, let's see, maybe if we want to put some melon and some bitty sparkles around. beads you can use to hide your little mishaps like maybe I'm kind of liking all my mishaps I think everything looks kind of cool let's just put these like maybe inside the sand dollars If we do two more, then that will make every part of a sand dollar that is showing have a gem. Do I have another tiny small one? Yes. Do I think we need one more? Do I have another one? No. Okay, now let's throw a few of these little doodads. No, they're like stuck everywhere. They're so little. One. <laughs> Here's another one. Let's put one here. Maybe another one. In here. Sweet. I think that looks really cool. Do we need one right there? Okay. Think I'm done? I'll bring my card up. There you go. Retiform. R-E-T-I-F-O-R-M. Retiform. I feel like I was just in a spelling bee. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm glad we got some crafting going. I have pick three set up for Wednesdays. Come back and do the pick three. I have lots of close to my heart happy mail. And um, you see I post a challenge. And I have my paper pumpkin group started. So I'd love for you to join us over in that group for when that gets going in full swing. All right, ladies, thank you. Talk to you soon.